Welcome to the NCAA Softball Regionals presented by Capital One. Championship Sunday in Fayetteville without the host. Arizona is one win away from a remarkable 17th Super Regional appearance in program history, and the Cardiac Cats of Villanova survived two elimination games yesterday. They'll have to do that again today to punch their first ever Super Regional ticket. They knocked off the host Arkansas last night 7-2 to set up a rematch of Friday night's Game 1 for the Regional Championship. Hello everyone and welcome to Bogle Park. Former Duke Blue Devil Rain Wilson and Noah Reed with you. We've got Arizona, one of the best programs that college softball has ever seen. And we've got Villanova, who's never been to a regional final until today. I guess that's why we call it mayhem. This is an App State offense that averages about 80 a game, held to 23 in the first half. I don't know that 20 minutes in we thought the Marshall defense would be the story. Mid-February in college basketball rocks because it's already starting to feel a little marchy in here. Tate, what a crossover into the lane. Scoops it home. Pretty finish from Miles Tate. Hunter has three threes already. Give him number four. He is unconscious. Tate, baseline, whips it up to Harkham, elevates for three, and buries it. Both Malott and Chambers on the field. Malott's now out as a wide receiver. Chambers in the shotgun. Trick play to Malott. The quarterback throws it. Caught by Thomas to the pylon. Touchdown, Montana State. Taking those, those reps. Quick pass. It's jumped and it's picked off. Keenan Garber. Pick six. Second defensive touchdown today for the Cats. Two balls and a strike here from Penta. And Crenshaw smokes it. Deep left field. Mizzou takes the lead in the fifth. Sites belts it into the gap in left center field. Villanova adds another as Smith scores. Gray gets the wave. Cutoff throw is held on to. It's a two-run double for Sites, and we've got a game in Fayetteville. You think your favorite team doesn't like the rival? Let us introduce you to the Rocket. In 1961, the University of Toledo acquired an actual rocket from the U.S. Army. And the story goes, Tim, that it's pointed at just the right trajectory that if it were ever to be launched, it would land at the 50-yard line of Bowling Green's football field. Trying to blow up your rival's football field is a new level of hate that I've never seen. Uh, come on, Falcons. Activate <laughs> the anti missile defense system <laughs> just in case uh, we asked Todd Kowalczyk and he said yeah it's totally true our <laughs> engineering department did a brilliant job setting that up you're a you're a Michigan Wolverine I think you need to get with the administration in Ann Arbor and see if you can get a rocket pointed at the 50 yard line of Ohio State's football field the Michigan Rockets <laughs> I like it I like it you're all for it <laughs> Marcus Hill now has a game high 21 after the first free throw. He's been a little inconsistent recently, but tonight's been a different story. 21 on nearly 50% from the field. Yeah, just a fierce competitor. And one of the keys is that Todd Simon told his guys, we have to dominate the offensive board. Once again, it worked before. Simon says, offensive rebound. <laughs> Nine point lead for Bowling Green ties the largest of the game. First place is on the line for Toledo, trying to keep pace with Akron. Tyler Cochran traveled in the lane, and the Rockets give it away for the seventh time this half, Tim, after they only had two turnovers the entire first half. I can promise you, Toledo is exceptional off the dribble. They are a great one-on-one -on -one team. This zone defense is making it a much less athletic game, and it's really getting inside the Toledo heads. Hill leaves it for Spurgeon in the seventh floor, hammers it home. Simmons backing down Spurgeon way off the mark. Wilson the offensive rebound, he was blocked. Very smart to slow things up. 
10 minutes to go. This is the point when these teams played at Toledo. A 32 to 14 run started, and it started on the defense. Not only best shooter for Toledo, my vote, best shooter in the Mid-American Conference. You want it, run clock. The last thing you want to do is get stagnant. Defense wins. Take a look, up top, rim level. Beautiful defense inside by Raheem Moss, and then turning it into offense. Maddox, beautiful shooter from the wing. We've got a good one. Now's the time if you're gonna make a comeback for Toledo. That felt like almost a needed three, right? This one's off the mark by Thomas. Hill, the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. And Toledo cannot keep Bowling Green off the offensive glass. And please don't be surprised by the fact that Bowling Green is such a good team tonight. They play an attack style defense. They're top five in the conference in scoring. And Marcus Hill is the go-to guy. Uh, you know what they're running offensively right now? It, it's called the, it's called the Marcus Hill Show. <laughs> that, that's a pretty good offense if you're Bowling Green. This is year one under what was supposed to be a rebuild for Todd Simon. The coaches in the max preseason pick to finish them tied for sixth. There were some outlets that had them all the way down at 11th. Todd Simon said that was the athletic, by the way. He brought his receipts. He knew where he was picked in the conference, especially by the ones that picked him at the bottom. They're in fifth right now, and they've got a chance to beat the number one team in the max. Thomas to Spurgeon in transition, but it's a turnover. Remember earlier, I shared that Todd Kowalczyk, the coach at Toledo, said if Bowling Green looks composed in this game, that's a massive problem for our team. Maddox, deep three, buries it. You can't let him start to feel it.